Hey, what's going on? The YouTube says CL0220. This is Jimmy S. Turner back here again for a review for Black Lightning. This is the second episode of the second season, Book of Consequences, Chapter 2. Um, okay, so I'll break down the things I did like. Um, I like the usage of Issa's powers and the way they function. I thought that that, that moment where he was with them at the, the, the table was actually needed. Uh, it's actually kind of therapeutic because it gets to show everything that they've been kind of holding in from each other um, and all the different lines that are being like thrown and like pulled. Um, I thought it made for a really good character uh, progression. Um, Jennifer is still <laughs> up to no good, but Jennifer is trying to protect her family because even when she was confronted with Khalil, Khalil is back. Um, like, she knew, you know, what he was saying was partly true, but she couldn't let him see her because he knows that he works directly with Tobias Well, who wants to, of course, kill Black Lightning. Uh, I'll get to Tobias in just a second because that's probably another one of the positives, but I, I did like that part of it. Um, what else did I like? Um, I like the end with the school with the students. The moment with the teachers and the staff, that kind of felt a little telegraphed. It felt like the, the students did a better job acting than the, the teachers did. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was the way they actually kind of set that uh, stage up. Because even in the beginning with uh, Robert Townsend talking to your boy, uh, Scooter, <laughs> or Jefferson, or uh, Black Lightning, uh, it made better dialogue with that and, of course, the back end that it did with the students. Um, Robert Townsend, like, him just coming there is actually, it's actually really dope. Um, but you get to kind of see where, you know, Jefferson's kind of coming from with his mentality of all of this. Um, and justifiably so. He understands that they're going to try to use him kind of, it seems like it's perpetuated like he's the scapegoat. Making like, okay, clear this platform because this is what I need you to do. And this is how you're going to fix this mess kind of situation. When, I mean, actually he was there. Like, he was actually there trying to actually protect the students, but he can't say that. Um... It's gonna be interesting to see how that plays in with Simmons or um, what's the guy's name? That's the um, the detective. How that's gonna play in later on? Now that he's gonna see probably in the paper, okay, Jefferson stepped down. Now he's gonna be in a teacher role. Uh, so that's gonna actually make for a really good dialogue between them later on down the line because you can see Jefferson's making strides to doing progressing the right thing, or at least putting people out of harm's way uh, from what kind of stage he's at. Now, the, the negatives I felt about this one were really strange because I felt like some, some moments were just kind of cheesy and unnecessary. Like, um, Anissa's um, relationship with this girl just kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, I know, like, progressively people kind of go and meet at the club or whatever, but he, she was just kind of looking at this girl, gazing, and it kind of implied, like, they had been dating and doing stuff or whatever before, but... It makes sense because she was already with Grace. Like, that was evident in the first season. And I, caught, I thought that they were still together because Anissa was with somebody else, then got with Grace. Then she dropped off of Grace when she got her powers. And then now she's with this other chick. And it's like, it's definitely a pattern. And not just that, like, Jeff, Jefferson had this uncanny ego and this need for the adrenaline rush. And we've already seen Anissa already go and do something that to me in this episode should have shown progressively the fallout of that. Like we're, we're seeing her doing two different messed up things that are going to end up hopefully working out from a written standpoint. But last episode, she went there and broke in and um, stole from some gangsters, gave that to the church. The church is going to get lit up for that most likely. And now she's kind of just like forsaking a relationship because why? Like, I mean, and of course she's feeding into her ego, but I, I mean, I, I don't really like it because it's kind of feeling like it's kind of rushed. I think that's the thing I didn't like about this episode um, is the fact that certain moments just felt like they were rushed um, and the dialogue kind of threw off a little bit and kind of like they really haven't utilized Gamby that much. Um, and even when kind of like the, the conversation that was going on with, um, with Jefferson with the school and stuff like that, that felt like that was very much so rushed as well. Um, but nothing more rushed than the, the Bang Baby girl uh, I think her name was Wendy, um, and how it was just kind of like, oh, she's got this power, oh, she's got this, oh, she's going to these places, and we really don't get any kind of, like, connection with Wendy. I had the same exact problem with the Flash episode uh, tonight, 
where it's kind of like, I don't know who this villain is. I don't have any kind of connection or tie to him. I felt bad for the, the Wendy character in this in this episode. And I'm not saying anything bad about the actress. I'm pretty sure she can she probably carry a scene. It just didn't give me enough meat to to do anything with. Like, it would have been even more interesting if, say, after they speak, Jefferson knew her. Like, you know, they were friends back in the day. And it's kind of just like, she looking at him like, wait, what? How is this happening? Or, or something to that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many different ways they could have spent it, but they just they just didn't. It's kind of kind of felt rushed. Uh, another thing I didn't like is some of the action scenes, the CG when it comes to Jefferson like fighting, and even like I noticed it in another part of this episode. It kind of felt like it was it wasn't filmed the same. I felt like the cinematography and the choreography for the first season seemed like it was better than what I've seen so far in this season. Now, the first episode wasn't that bad, but there's a certain moments so that was kind of just like, that seems really corny or cheesy. I'm not sure why first season didn't seem that way. It seemed way more natural, uh, way more with reflex than anything else. And maybe they had a better choreographer or cinematographer, but the VFX, even with that, it didn't look as smooth, especially when he goes and takes off the fly or he goes like, he was fighting this girl, kind of just like, you know, like, Black Lightning, one of the things I loved about the first season is that all the fights, all the CG, all, even some of the bad moments, like, it worked and functioned naturally, you know what I'm saying? And so, it was kind of like, it was kind of a little jarring um, to kind of see that I was kind of like taking a step back in this episode uh, in comparison to the first episode. I'm just kidding, like, I love the show. Y'all know I love the show. Get lit, I don't even, I don't got the shirt on right now, but I love Black Lightning, but I do want to make sure I continuously talk about the things that I do see so it's not something that continues to happen maybe my voice will go out and you guys can kind of talk about it or it, it at least what me made known that people can kind of see the difference um but I love the family you know what I'm saying like I love what is gonna eventually turn into something amazing when it comes to Jennifer um your boy um and Khalil and then the opposite side of that, which is Tobias and Jefferson. Now, this is the thing about Tobias. Tobias, for some reason, went to this dude, talked to him, and it was just, I had a great conversation. Like, oh, I gotta kill you. And he's just like, he's just killing people now. Like before, like he was kind of like more cold and collected. And it's like now he just like, well, I'm gonna kill whoever I really want to now. It doesn't even really matter. Versus before, kind of like sitting in the cut and just kind of like. Wait, I mean, I guess he's always been a killer, but it's kind of just like, he's killing people he doesn't even have to kill at this point. And so, way more volatile, way more interesting. I still don't get how Sinai died, because the thing about the first season, I, I specifically remember Thunder going up against her. Thunder hitting her so hard that, like, she thought she had killed her, but no, like, it exposed, like, some layers of her skin that had something underneath. And that's why I call it Sinai. It's just like... They don't explain how that just happened. I don't know, maybe the actress was just done with it. Maybe they're gonna do something more with it later on. Maybe this is gonna tie into Jill Scott coming back. I don't know, but I felt like that was kind of a misstep. And I just that the girl that did do that, she wasn't in this episode. Um, and where's Lala? I'm sorry, I, 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 I'm, I'm really actually giving you guys a thing to review because I care about this show. I want this show to be I thought last season, a CW, Black Lightning was the best show on CW, period. So I want that for this season as well. And I'm always going to um, be honest about how I feel about this show. But I did, like I said, the character Issa, there's certain things I really did like. Um, can't wait to see what's going to happen with next season's episode. It looks way more interesting, way more emotional. I want that emotional gut check. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, definitely check out my two part one, part two videos of uh, Family First, uh, always. <laughs> but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, make sure you check out the reaction tomorrow.